Flooding continues this morning and with more rain in tonight's forecast, people who live near the Passaic River fearing the worst. CBS 2's Christina Fan live in Patterson where firefighters have been assisting residents left stranded in their homes by the flooding. Christina, good morning once again. Good morning, Chris. We were out here on the street right before Tuesday's storm hit, and we saw a lot of families out with their shovels. They were trying to break the ice over the sewer grates to better help the draining after the storm hit. But you can see this morning it did little to prevent the inevitable. We are standing right now on Bergen Street. You can see a lot of the families here stranded, cars stalled and stranded as well. For days, officials have been warning people that this was going to happen, asking them to evacuate, but of course some still stayed and then this morning had to call 911 for help. This video from Chopper 2 around 630 this morning shows firefighters assisting residents out of a home and to safety using high water vehicles. Now Bergen Street is just one of several roads butted up to the Passaic River that is submerged. We have been on the street more times than we can count this last month and have heard one heartbreaking story after another from these folks. At the very end of this block is actually an auto body shop. We spoke to that owner on Tuesday. He says he lost everything with the exception of two cars during December storm. Another family just up the block had to split up. The wife is staying behind to watch over the property, but the husband had to be evacuated early because he needs dialysis treatment. Chris, these people are really just barely holding their heads over water, trying to survive these storms. And as you, Tony and John have been mentioning, the thought of another round of rain coming tonight is just unfathomable to them. For now, reporting live from Patterson, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. You got that right. All right, Christina, thank you.